telling me? The dragons are coming for a visit to the puppet hideaway. Oh, we have to get ready. Let's get going. Hey, you two, get ready. The dragons are coming. Wait, are you as excited as I am? Look alive, flowers. And now for your weather report. The dragons are coming. The dragons are coming. What? That doesn't have to do with the weather. But they're coming to the puppet hideaway. We have to get ready. Let's meet the dragons. Hello, my name is Sylvia, and I am gorgeous. Thrilled to be here. Oh, hello. I'm a green dragon. Mm. Yeah, check me out. I'm excited to visit the puppet hideaway. Yeah, come meet my friends. Do you like dragons? Follow us. We have more to share. We're coming to the puppet hideaway. I'm a crazy dragon. Hello, dragons. Hi, I just got here. I flew in from the magic castle, and oh boy, are my arms tired. Oh, no. no. you're so silly. Follow us at the puppet hideaway. Dragons. Hello, I am a flying dragon. Yes, I like long walks along the beach. Well, aren't you cute? I'm single and ready to mingle. Yeah. I like sad movies. Oh, I like it here. Mm, 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 mm. More dragons coming to the Puppet Hideaway. Follow us. We're meeting the dragons. Well, hello. It's so nice to be here at the Puppet Hideaway. Yes, I am a dragon. Oh, you're a cute dragon. Yes, you're a friendly neighborhood dragon. Yeah. Oh, neat. I'll keep you warm on those cold winter nights. Don't worry, I won't set you on fire. Hey, nice to meet you. Follow us to see more dragons. Ah, look at the dragon. Hey, look at me, I'm a dragon. Hello, hello dragon. See my wings and my fiery breath? Yeah. More dragons coming to the puppet hideaway. Follow us. Hello, hello dragon. Yeah, I got a little lost on my way here. Oh. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, I've been flying around and around and around. Hey, nice to meet you. Follow us to see more dragons. We're meeting the dragons. I am a special dragon. I am a black dragon. Check me out. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Follow us to see more dragons. Meet the dragons. I'm very excited to be here. Hi there, dragons. Yeah, my wings start to flap when I get excited. Oh. And I'm excited to be here. Aw, neat! Follow us to see more dragons. Oh, dragons! Is everyone here? Did we all find the place? There's another dragon. I think I found it. Nice to be here at the Puppet Hideaway. Well, aren't you cute? Hey, what's for dinner? I'm starving. Rawr. Dragons everywhere. Follow us at the Puppet Hideaway. We're meeting dragons. We all agree, don't we, fellas? Yeah, this is a great place. Uh-huh, sure is. Hi there, dragons. Thanks for having us. This is going to be great. Well, aren't you cute? Hey, nice to meet you. Follow us to see more dragons. Let's meet the dragons and learn their star sign. Follow us for more horoscopes from the Puppet Hideaway. Behold the mighty dinosaurs. I am the T-Rex. There is none greater than... Oh. And what about the dragons? And don't forget about us. We're the best. No, the dinosaurs are the best. Oh, yeah? Let's duke it out. Yeah, well, let's figure something out. Oh, so is dragons! Okay, okay, this isn't gonna work. No, no, this is terrible. Okay, how about a chess match to decide the champions? Yeah, you got it, a chess match. We'll kick your butt. 
we shall see. May the best species win. Dinosaurs, dragons! Hey there, Peter. It sure is neat to have you and all the dragons here at the Papa Hideaway. Yes, but Eric, we need your help. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, anything. What can I do for you? Well, we've uh, challenged the dinosaurs to a game of chess, and uh, none of us dragons know how to play chess. Oh, uh, no problem. I'll be happy to teach you. Come on, let's take a lesson. <laughs> oh boy, I see the dragons are all here and the pieces are set. Oh, you guys start the fire. Oh, thank you so much. Ha, <laughs> little fire breathing dragon joke. Okay, this is terrific. We are ready to go. So stay tuned. Follow us right here, folks, to learn how to play chess and see the battle of the century between the dragons and the dinosaurs right here at the Puppet Hideaway. Oh boy, it'll be great. Okay, dragons, let's learn how to play chess. Let's start with the pawn. It's the weakest piece, but it's uh, good for blocking the other pieces. Uh, it moves forward in a straight line. It moves one place at a time, except its first turn where it can move two places. And it then moves diagonally when it's taking another piece. Stay tuned for more tips on how to play chess right here at the Puppet High. Eric teaches how to play chess! Okay, I sure will. The next piece we're going to talk about is the knight. And the knight is one of the only pieces that moves two directions in one turn. It moves one square in one direction and two squares in the other, making it an L-shaped movement. Okay, stay tuned for more tips on how to play chess so you can beat the dinosaurs. Oh boy, okay, we're watching. Pay attention to this next lesson as we learn how to play chess. We're going to talk about the bishop. The bishop can move diagonally through any unoccupied space. Because it only moves diagonally, it will always stay on the same color that it starts in. So in this case, it will always be on a black square. Okay, stay tuned for more rules. Hey, about you've got a special piece there. This is the rook. Yes, it can move either horizontally or vertically through any unoccupied space. It can also do a special move with the king called castling. All right, it's a really good strong piece to have. So, continue to watch as we learn the rules of chess. Ah, we're paying attention, Eric. Yay! Eric, teach us how to play chess. Oh, absolutely, my queen. Here is the queen, and the queen is the most powerful piece on the board. And that's because it can move any number of squares in any direction. Forward, sideward, diagonal. Oh my gosh, it's a good piece to have. It's good to be queen. Thank you for these wonderful lessons. Yes, follow us and continue to watch for more tips on playing chess. Hey, Charles, let me show you how to play this piece in the game as we learn how to play chess. This is the king, and the king is the most important piece on the board because if the king gets in checkmate, that means it's under attack and can't get to safety, the game is over. Yeah, we don't want to let that happen. You can't let the dragons do that. The king can only move in one square in any direction in a turn, and it's the job of all the other players to keep him safe. Okay, follow us for more tips on how to play chess right here at the Puppet Okay, I because of the coin toss, the dinosaurs will be playing with the white team, and the dragons will be playing the black pieces. This will be the chess mass of the century. Who will be the victor? Will it be the dinosaurs, or will it be the dragons? Follow us here at the Puppet Hideaway to see who wins! Yay! chess match between the dinosaurs and the dragons congratulations dinosaurs on your big win and you know what dragons you should be proud you played an excellent game and you know what there's always next time you learned a lot didn't you yeah all right so hey stay tuned follow us everybody for more fun from the dinosaurs and the dragons right here at the puppet idol want to hear some dragon jokes because we're on fire what's the 
most stressful thing about being a dragon? Trying to blow out the candles on a birthday cake. <laughs> What's the difference between a car and a dragon? A car only has one horn. <laughs> Why are dragons such good storytellers? They spin good tales. <laughs> What does a dragon eat for a snack? Cheese and firecrackers, please. <laughs> Why do dragons sleep during the day? So they can fight nights. Why would a dragon breathe on a globe? So they can set the world on fire. <laughs> Follow us for more jokes right here at the Puppet Hunt. Hey, we're here in the library learning about dragon books. And here's one called Dragon, Time for a Picnic. Hey, will you tell us all about it? In this book, you get to share a giggle with Dragon and his friends. Yes, they are preparing for a wonderful picnic. But then they realize that somebody was supposed to bring the ball, the kite, and the treats. What are they going to do? <laughs> Dragon comes up with a wonderful plan to save the day and the picnic. Hey, follow us right here at the Puppet Hideaway for more book reviews and dragon stories. I'm here in the library with this dragon. Hello! To talk to you about How to Light Your Dragon by Diddle Levy and Fred Benaglia. Hello, has your dragon forgotten how to breathe fire? Well, have no fear. Oh, in this imaginative story, a frustrated dragon owner tries increasingly hilarious tricks to rekindle her dragon's flame. Hey, why don't you follow us here at the Puppet Hideaway for more book reviews and fun dragon stories. Yay! I'm in the library with my dinosaur friend, and we're checking out this wonderful book called Dino Dancing by Lisa Wheeler. Hey, why don't you tell us all about it? They look, the Paleo Theater is packed with cheering fans ready for a dance showdown. Can Maya and Stego take home the top prize for their sizzling salsa steps? This prehistoric dance competition will keep you on the edge of your seat. All right, follow us for more book reviews and dinosaur stories right here at the Puppet Hideaway. I'm here with my dinosaur friend. And here, we're checking out this book called What If a T-Rex Crashes Your Birthday Party by Lisa S. Baum. You never know what to expect when a dinosaur shows up at your birthday party. Of course, you may be at first surprised, but then there'll be a roar, there'll be a stomp. He'll look at you as if he's wondering what you taste like with a little mustard. Yes, playful doodle-like illustrations capture the curiosity of the silly scenario that turns out to be equal parts poignant and giggle-worthy. Follow us for more book reviews and dinosaur stories from the Puppet Hideaway.